Hello. In this video, I will show you why you should always configure your web servers to use HTTP2. The HTTP2 protocol was designed to solve many issues that the HTTP 1.1 protocol has with modern websites. When HTTP 1.1 was introduced in 1997, web pages had some HTML markup and perhaps an image or two. Nowadays, web pages can contain hundreds of resources, be it images, fonts, scripts, style sheets, etc. Because HTTP 1.1 was not designed to handle such loads, web developers have come up with a bunch of different hacks to improve the load speed of pages. These hacks attempt to reduce the number of HTTP requests to the server because establishing an HTTP connection carries a lot of overhead and doing that for hundreds of resources slows down the rendering of the page. That causes user frustration and leads to high bounce rates. Some of the popular hacks include domain sharding, image sprites and concatenation and minification of JavaScript and CSS files. HTTP2 solves the problem in multiple ways. It compresses the HTTP headers, allows for server push, which can send resources to the browser before the HTML document is even completely parsed, and enables multiplexing, which allows the client and server to process multiple requests over the same connection. That reduces the overhead of establishing many HTTP connections. Let's see how that works in practice. I have set up Tomcat to listen on two different ports. Port 1820 has HTTP2 enabled, while port 1811 uses HTTP 1.1 only. Both ports run on the same Tomcat, serve the same application with the same code base. To demonstrate the difference, I took an image and sharded it into hundreds of pieces, so that the HTML page would need to request many resources. I also disabled the caching of those images. Let's run the request and see how HTTP2 compares with HTTP 1.1. So that took about 6 seconds over 1.1 and 800 milliseconds with HTTP2. Let's try it again. I can load the page over HTTP2 several times in the time that it takes the page to load only once with HTTP 1.1. Even though the HTTP2 protocol was introduced more than three years ago, it is estimated that only 30% of websites utilize it as of October 2018. HTTP2 is an upgrade protocol, so if the browser does not support it, it will still work fine with HTTP 1.1, but if the browser does support it, the connection will be upgraded to the HTTP 2 protocol. Given that fallback support, there are many reasons to set up HTTP 2 on your server, and no reason not to.